Good morning guys, welcome to day 11 where we head back to New Tingri, the gateway to Mount Everest. So today's ride back to New Tingri from Shigatsi is 242 kilometers. So all the guys are getting kitted up and getting ready for today's ride. not too bad today I think it's it was zero degrees when I first got out here this morning um, not sure what the temperature is going to get up to but it's all about that wind and at the minute I don't feel any inside this courtyard reset the clock which I've actually been I've actually been quite good at resetting the clock normally I forget that <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why I'm saying it like a Chinese man. Again, we've already stopped at this uh, hotel once. Oh, I thought that barrier was coming down on my head. But yeah, what a beautiful morning. It's fresh, but the sun is shining. So back to New Tingri. Should be a steady ride today. I don't know quite know what to expect I think I might be in the wrong lane and we're off I'm in the wrong gear I'm in second oh these are great the bin men they have like <laughs> they have a siren on the top that blares out music and they uh, they sing along and sweep the floors and empty the the bins very different to <laughs> back home I've noticed in the morning as well a few of the Tibetans will do their exercises generally to music do their stretches and I could do with a little bit of that myself to be honest I've got the flexibility of a 90 year old man so I've been told so last night was a fairly chilled one I think everybody was a little bit shattered after the ride it was a, a long day a uh, fantastic day though uh, amazing views and mountain roads. That's our, uh, that's our support truck. It's basically telling us we're going the wrong way. <laughs> so this is the second biggest city here in Tibet. The Lhasa being the capital city, but the capitals are not always the ones with the, the higher population. But in Lhasa, it's just people everywhere, you know, all the time. Here, especially in the evenings, it, it kind of um, it goes really quiet. I'm hoping this car's going to be going left. You get to these junctions and honestly, I ain't got a clue who's, who's supposed to go first. Hey! That's Tello, he's our, um, he's our Tibetan guide. The guide that comes along with us for the whole journey, he's been absolutely fantastic. What a guy, he's really helped us out on this tour. Can't do the tours without them as well, you know, it's a, that's a rule. Oh, we're at the red. Next to me here, I've got Scott from Texas. Howdy, Scott. Howdy, Simon. Beautiful day. Beautiful blue skies. Skies make me happy. Yeah, yeah, we've got lucky with the weather. Let's go tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we've got some great guys on this trip again. They've all been absolutely fantastic. They've all got a wicked sense of humour. And it's really nice meeting people kind of from around the world as well, you know, different backgrounds and find out interesting things about people. So tomorrow, is the big one where we make our way to base camp as for um this copper is waving everybody on <laughs> he's like speed up i'm going as quick as i can yeah so i think tomorrow we've been kind of pre-prepped we'll get another briefing in the morning i think we're going to leave at 10 o'clock we've done we've done a few leaves at 10 o'clock partly because the temperature just rises that little bit 
before that you're kind of into like zero degrees so we've been told at base camp it's been significantly improved oh maybe the lights i was wringing its neck then when we get to base camp the rules can change all the time so we never know until we get there what the procedure is and if we get a daylight today then we should get some fantastic <laughs> oh guys i nearly got a talk out there you're gonna be so so on the ball especially in the morning so yeah we've been told the the actual base camp itself has been significantly improved it's not a, a dirt mud pit anymore I think the toilet facilities have vastly improved, apparently, which is good news for everybody. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, and, and it's gonna be a short day tomorrow as well. A short ride from where we're, we're staying back in New Tingri. That is the gateway to Mount Everest. Motorbike wise, you don't see hardly any, apart from obviously locals uh, on scooters and things. Whoa, we're gonna hold back for a second. We'll get the throttle on. You have to get that power down early to, for the overtakes. We get there about 2 p.m. tomorrow. We've only got about four hours of riding. So what I will do is, is take you guys for the tour of base camp, show you what it's all about. I'm excited myself. Yeah, it should be an interesting day. So we just come across a few of these little sections where they're, they're putting the new bridges back in. Like I said, we've already passed this once a few days ago. Again, choked by the fumes and this morning was the first time I've actually cleaned the visor it did need a good clean after yesterday's ride so when we get to new Tingri we'll be back up at the 14,000 feet mark so we've not really had to do any off-roading apart from when we was in uh, Nepal but so far we're 37 kilometers into today's ride and it's been nice and steady, nothing too technical. Mainly overtaking some of these big lorries. This one in front's just swerving around a little bit. So if you're looking for one of those motorcycle adventures where you're not over keen on the off-roading, then this will be a good one to do. Like always, I'll put the Nomadic Nights link in the description so you can go check it out for yourselves. So we're just getting into a few twisty bends now. That last sort of 70k was, was pretty straight as we rode over the plateau. And today is a cold day. As we start to gain the altitude, the temperature is gonna drop. A little bit of off-roading. I always like to get on the pegs. Yeah, once you get into these shady bits, oh, you can feel a difference in the temperature. We'll try and get past this truck. It seems to want to take all the road up on the corners. This just hasn't got the legs. Come on. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I need a bit of a downhill bit. We need to get on that throttle early. I also need a car not coming the other way. Oh, I can't see nothing here. Now the truck's stuck behind the lorry. But he's going for it. gonna go for it we're through one of the best spots to overtake is when you get to the speed camera come on we're through 
It doesn't look like a few of the other bikers made that much progress. Oh, that was a bump. So it looks like we're about ready to pull over. We've done around the 100 uh, kilometers. So maybe this is, maybe this is a chai stop. We're going across the road. It's nice to get off the bike for a bit of a rest. So we're just waiting for the support truck to turn up so we can have a, a cup of chai or a nice hot coffee. I think everybody's feeling the cold a little bit. There's a few darker clouds up there, but when you get off the bike and you're in the sunshine, it is rather nice. So I've got myself a cup of chai and as you can probably see, the temperature has significantly dropped just in the last few minutes. Everybody's getting their hats and scarves and gloves on whilst we have a, a quick chai stop and then we'll get back on the bikes and finish off the last 120k. Right guys, so that's chai time over. Back on the bike for this second leg. I don't even think it'll take us too long to be honest. We're making really good progress. Yeah, I must admit it's the first time I had to go find a, a pharmacy the other day to, to buy something for my lips because they'd literally just kind of cracked. Never had that before. And um, I think there's quite a few of us that are uh, suffering from that. So easy fix. Right, so we're back on the road after the cup of chai. We've got about 120k to go. a bit more off-roading as they're putting these bridges in yeah that wind's really picked up it's definitely got colder but like I said we are gaining altitude yeah I think the other guys are two or three kilometers in front of me whoa on the brakes you can kind of see it happening just on the right here, you can see this, I'm guessing it's like an oil refinery. Seems to be a lot of uh, tankers around this bit. So I'm guessing it is carrying fuel. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally in third gear and the throttle is fully open. And the revs are dying. Come on. Ooh. Bit of tyre slide. There's a bit of a grater went over. And we're climbing now, but look at the views. To my right, the mountain tops. There's no snow on these ones like there was yesterday. I think there's two high passes today. There we go over. just descending down it's just as you get around that corner that wind is real strong 
but you are open to the elements look at that and that's where we're heading so we're back on the straight so we can make some time up try and catch up with the other guys so we're 155 kilometers into it i've just managed to catch up with the group they've all pulled over i'm guessing it's because we've got a uh, security check to go through yeah it's definitely got a got a little bit more uh, chilly for sure so we've got this guy here that's just pulled up on his uh, bike chinese guy you don't see many people touring around on their bikes so we're just going to go through the uh, security check posts because the support vans here with our passports okay i think he's waving us through going down this side Yep, we're through that's what we like guys straight through we have to drop that visor down that wind is numbing I'm at the back of the pack again So the Enfield's gone on to its reserve tank. So I've done 207 kilometers. I've not seen another teammate for quite a while, but we're not far off our destination now. I'm starting to breathe a bit more heavier. So we must be at higher altitudes now. It's been a great day's ride today. It's not taken long. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. We didn't set off till 10 o'clock. I reckon in the next 20 minutes, I'll be at the hotel. Start winding that throttle on. Oh, we didn't even see that car come in. And here's the guys. I don't know if this is just a bit of a regroup. It's a lot to do. What are we over there? We've got to rest it. No, we'll have a look. Let me know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so we've just had a quick regroup. Uh, we were debating whether to get a bit of lunch because the time is, uh, it's about 10 to 3. We're just going to press on get to the hotel that just gives us a few hours to uh to relax for the evening and maybe participate in a local beverage or two there's all the sheep is there's a bit of a barrier there so hopefully they'll stay that side of it all right so we've just got another checkpoint to go through which i think is going to be very swift there we go straight through we are here so yeah we're at the hotel guys i thought we still got 10k to go but we're back at the new tingri hotel well that seemed quicker than what i thought i mean it's probably the 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 quickest we've ever done a run quarter past three in the afternoon so yeah got uh, got a bit of time to do a bit of relaxing maybe grab a beer and um, I think everybody's had a good ride everybody was commenting how much colder it has been today I mean when you look up in the sky and it's and it's all blue but the temperatures have been 
pretty cool that wind has certainly been I would say in the minus I can feel myself breathing heavier once again we're at 14 and a half thousand feet so I hope you enjoyed the ride today guys it's not been too testing it's been quite cold and it's been very windy this is all preparation for tomorrow's ride to Everest Base Camp. So I hope you like the video guys. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Give us a like and I'll see you in the next one. So this morning, the temperatures were down to about minus six. Let's try and get this truck started. And we are in the National Park. I mean, look at that. 5,198 meters. I didn't think it was gonna go then. Really struggling. <laughs> Look at that guys, what a view. Wow, we're going to be heading down that. There's Mount Everest. <laughs>